Welcome to the Boiling Point. I thought we would revisit an old Boiling Point. Back in 2017, Jude was actually doing some uh, water hardness testing. So we're going to go over to Boiler University and let him bring that to you. Today at Boiler U, we're going to talk about water. Water is critically important for your boiler, but not just that we put some in there, we've got to make sure we've got good water quality. And the type of water quality we're talking about today is hardness in water. Hardness in water is calcium magnesium that comes from whatever your water source is, and they're terrible for your boiler. So in order to make sure we're not putting hard water in our boiler, we're going to test it daily using a water softener test kit. So I'm going to demonstrate that with two bottles of water, one that's soft, one that's hard, and, and I don't know which is which. Our water hardness test kit consists of three basic components, a buffer, an indicator, and a reagent. The first thing we're going to do is collect some water, and fortunately I've already done that. So we're going to get a sample, and we're going to take our little measurement tube, and we're going to fill it up to the appropriate line. Fourteen point six milliliters for indication in grains per gallon, which is what we're looking for. The buffer, five drops of buffer. Give her a swirl. Scoop of indicator powder. It's like making Kool-Aid. And guess what? This sample was soft. That's, we can tell that because it's blue. The second sample we know is untreated because I had one of each and we already found the soft sample. So I'm going to rinse this first to make sure that we get rid of any residual soft water. Fill it to the mark. One, two, three, four, five. Give her a swirl. Now when I add the indicator powder, we see it's not blue. And this is bad. This means that we're putting undesirable minerals in our boiler. But in order to properly set up the softener, um, or to know how long uh, hardness has been bleeding through, we're going to want to quantify or figure out how much hardness is in our sample. So we do that by adding the reagent and we count the drops. One, two, three, four, five. I give it a swirl. Six. It's turned blue. So that means our incoming water probably has between six and seven grains per gallon of hardness. Now, you may ask what's a grain, because that's sort of an abstract term. But if you've ever had a BB gun, and you're familiar with BBs or kids that leave them laying around, a BB weighs about five to six grains. So every gallon of this untreated water going into your boiler is one BB of minerals that will deposit somewhere in your boiler. So if you're making up 10,000 gallons of water a day, you can imagine that that's a massive amount of minerals in very short time. It's critical to test your water softener daily. We want to have a sample point at the outlet of the water softener where we know we're getting a good fresh sample. We can even let that run for a few seconds to flush minerals or metal ions out. Um, the other thing that we want to document when we do our water softener is the number of gallons remaining before regeneration and which tank we're operating on. That can give us a history of information so that if we have to troubleshoot the softener in the future, um, we have those pieces of the puzzle. Well, I thought that was some great information for you. Always uh, really good to hang out with Jude. Speaking of Jude, um, you want to make sure that you are getting out and signing up and coming into Boiler University. Obviously, COVID has shut some things down, but we are open. Uh, we have some limited class sizes. 
and this is our lab. And so you will learn an awful lot of stuff right out here in the lab from Jude and Scotty. So go out to our webpage and make sure you sign up. If you can't come, we have some online courses for you. So make sure you go out there and check those out as well. Boiler 101 is online. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channels. And as always, if you would, please share those videos. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.